guys hello everybody um i'm actually driving at the moment so apologies if the theory is shaking and all of that but i feel like god is wanting me to say something this morning naomi is there um so um i feel like god is is leading me to speak about something this morning so that's why i'm um, i'm actually talking now um apologies we couldn't post video last week i was very very tired um which is part of life and um, so i needed to have a break and uh, then come back to you guys so guys my name is precious if you're seeing me for the first time um i'm a christian and a lot of times i tend to talk about my faith and i know that a lot of people that are watching me are christians as well so um i feel like god is um actually working with me um god is god is teaching me going helping me go through a process um this time of my life and um, one of the ways that god speaks to me and god works with me is when he wants me to um know about something i begin to see things about that thing for example if he wants me to concentrate on an aspect of marriage I begin to see a lot of videos, a lot of sermons, a lot of um, quotes, a lot of things regarding that area, okay? When God wants me to talk about children, he, he begins to direct me to that area. He begins to give me the hunger and the desire. So lately, I began to have that hunger on about parenting. So if you don't know, I have uh, four kids. Um, and at this point in my life, one of the things I don't want to do is to raise children that when they grow up i begin to um think oh god i should have done it this way i should have done it that way no so i began to um examine my parenting style i began to examine the things that i do with my kids and all of that and god started directing me to different areas of parenting and i stumbled upon this um intentional parenting shout out to coach wendy um and i i joined her classes i did it i i've been reading her books not just her books other parenting books as well and podcasts have been in fact this time of my life is all about parenting god has been teaching me a lot of things okay so um the things i learned um from coach wendy and from the the classes and everything i, I implement i don't learn and just dump i implement and i try to share it within my circle of friends because i know that i cannot just parent my children and my friends that have children are not parenting their kids properly because i know better right now when it comes to parenting as well i used to think oh there is no manual out there there's no strategy there's nothing it's just no there's a strategy of raising kids if you want to be successful you do things that successful people do if you want to be a good cook you learn how to cook parenting is one thing that a lot of people just do out of their impulse they just do it out of oh okay um i'm just going to do it this way and that makes them whichever advice they hear whichever anybody that says one thing or the other they just pick it and run with it without knowing the convictions of that person now the reason i'm saying this is that you cannot parent without the help of the holy spirit okay there are a lot of things i've learned from coach wendy which oh my god is amazing but the holy spirit is also teaching me different things right as i'm driving now i'm going to my son's school on a normal day i would not do this okay on a normal day precious will not do this because this is something i have warned him so many times okay um make sure you set you get yourself ready the night before in fact this morning literally this morning did he fall down oh my god naomi's scripts has fallen down so the precious before would not go and drop it because even this morning before he left for school i asked him have you packed your bag have you done everything he quickly went and did all of that and left his book that he needed today and if he doesn't get it he'll probably be disciplined or one thing and another thing i've been teaching my kids is let them make their mistake and learn from their mistakes i'm one of those parents that be like oh god no 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 but now 
I'm literally letting my kids make their mistakes so they learn from them because the one of the best way to actually learn is from your mistakes your own mistakes because sometimes when people are telling you i did this thing it didn't work for me oh you will not hear so let them make their own mistakes so anyway i've been teaching them to make their own mistakes and the the, the pressures of now actually not even now would say okay he didn't listen he didn't do what he's supposed to do he's going to learn from it he's, whatever discipline he gets from school so be it but when i did that the holy spirit immediately cautioned me and said do you know how many times you've done something that I've warned you and you still went back to do that? I still forgive you because I love you. <laughs> so when I heard that voice clearly, I just, mind you, he has called me to say, bring it to, and I say, I'm not bringing it. You're going to learn from your mistakes today. But now I'm driving because the Holy Spirit has prompted me or has made me to go and do it. What am I trying to say? You cannot parent without the help of the Holy Spirit. You cannot parent. You cannot parent without the help of the Holy Spirit. Letting your children make their mistakes is okay. It's good. It's part of learning. But this one, the Holy Spirit is telling me that no, not this one. Go and give him his book. Who knows, if I don't send him this book, he'll probably be like, oh my God. He'll probably just destroy everything I've been teaching him. <laughs> that is why you can't do things by yourself. You have to deal with the help of the Holy Spirit. You literally can't do things by yourself. So, I know I teach about having children, trying to conceive. But look, if you cannot raise those children properly, what's the point? What's the point having kids and we can't raise our kids properly? So I'm going to be doing a lot of videos about parenting as well because God is, I think this is an area that God is actually just um, dragging me. I'm having that love, that passion, that desire to talk more about parenting and all of that because Precious has four children. So with four children, I have to, I don't even have um, an excuse not to raise my kids properly. So I'm going to the school now and I'm going to drop the book for him. And I would, um, when he comes back, we'll have a conversation about it. And I, it will also be an opportunity to teach him to say, look what I've been telling you about packing your bag the night before. This is a typical example. Imagine mommy was at work. Okay. Imagine mommy wasn't home. Imagine daddy wasn't home. What would happen? That means you would have been, um, disciplined or you face the consequence of your action so guys this is what god has just done with me this morning and i feel i should come and share with you how are you parenting your child do you have a parenting um, um, um as in where you learn about parenting or you're just parenting out of your impulse and out of the way you you were you were trained yourself this is 2023 if you're still parenting the way you were brought up, sis, you've passed, we've, we've left you. If you're still parenting the way your parents brought you up, you're, you're, we've left you. You know why? Because children of this day have a different challenge altogether. They, they have social media to deal with. They have a lot of things going on with them. When I was growing up, I did not get a phone until I got into university. Yes. But my son, that I'm going to drop this phone now, uh, his book now, has a phone already. He's just in secondary school. <laughs> so if you're still parenting with the tips and the hacks that your father gave you, right? There's nothing wrong with it, though, but just know that you may have to twist some things. You may have to do some things because it may not work. And also know that those children that God gave to you, they are not your children. They are God's children. So go to God to give you the clue. Go to God to give you idea. Go to God to help you, give you the grace on how to parent these children. It's not everything you see out there that works. Yes, I am a parent and I've joined Inner Circle for we called the, the Parenting, the Intentional Parenting Academy. I am in there now. I'm learning a lot of things. 
I am blessed to be there. But I'm still using the Holy Spirit to help me to filter what will work for my child and what will not work for my child. Do you understand? Yes. I'm nearly close to my son's school. And um, these are the books I'm going to give to him. I'm very, very close. Let me show you guys. So guys, I've just dropped the book and um, <laughs> the receptionist was just laughing. Um, and guess what? There's something she said now that um, actually I feel like God is good and the Holy Spirit is... <laughs> I don't know what I would have done without the Holy Spirit, honestly. I don't know what I would have done without the Holy Spirit. I don't know what I would have done without the Holy Spirit. I don't know what I would have done without god actually just helping me and this is why anyway i've just dropped it and the receptionist was like oh does he know that you're bringing it i said no he doesn't because i was actually mad at him this morning for forgetting it and i decided to bring it she was like mm, wow that's good that's really good um because yes i get angry yes i get mad he did something wrong god gets mad at us god gets angry at us but he doesn't hate us he doesn't, he would not out of his anger do something bad to us. He would not out of his anger wanting to teach us a lesson that at the end of the day we will not learn that lesson through that experience. He will not do that. Any lesson, any experience that we're going to go through and we will not learn from that experience. God will not make us go through that experience. That's the lesson that the Holy Spirit has taught me this morning. I wanted to teach my son a lesson, but was he going to learn from the experience? Is he going to learn from this experience of forgetting his book and me not bringing it for him and his teacher telling him off or maybe getting a negative point or maybe being reducing something happening that he would not like? Will he learn a lesson? Or he would say, oh, mommy hates me. Mommy is so mean. Mommy would have brought this for me. Mommy, mommy knows that I'm human. I can actually forget things. She forgets things as well. But how can mommy know that I forget things and she forgets things and she decides to punish me out of me being forgetful as a human being? Probably that's what he would say. But anyway, um, I don't want to make this video so long. But I know that you've gotten something out of this video. I know that you're blessed from this video. I'm going to be going home now. So, okay, thank you guys um, for watching this video. I hope you're blessed. I hope that God has spoken to you as much as he has spoken to me this morning. Um, if you have any question, if you want me to do more videos like this, please let me know in the comment section. Because I'm going to be making a lot of videos like this. Because I feel like God is actually pulling me to this area of parenting um, and it takes a lot to raise children thank you so much guys for watching